Mauritania's former military ruler, General Mohamed Ould Abdel Aziz, now seems assured of winning his nation's presidential election in June. Several major opposition candidates did not register for the ballot by last week's deadline, leaving the general to face a much weakened field. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. The boycott by the coalition of opposition groups means Abdulaziz is unlikely to gain the legitimacy he seeks both at home and abroad. The National Front for the Defense of Democracy maintains that Abdulaziz set elections for June without consulting with the opposition groups. National Assembly President Mesoud Aloud Boulker. If necessary, we are ready to shed our blood as we have already done, to show that we are not ready to bow under the military's demands. That is all. Abdulaziz has ruled Mauritania since August when he ousted the nation's first elected leader. The High State Council that he runs says it has given the opposition groups every chance to talk. But none of Abdulaziz's three main opponents have the experience or power base to take on the general, whose style has become more of a populist and polished since his early appearances in uniform after disposing Sidi Mohammed Oloud Sheikh Abdullah. One of the challengers of the June fixed ballot is Ken Hamid Baba, vice president of the National Assembly. He's broken ranks with the National Front and recently spoke to journalists. My message is that of hope that another policy is possible and that the Mauritanian people deserve an alternative in the face of the current stagnant political situation with political parties in conflict. Ibrahim Maktar Sa, leader of the Alliance for Justice and Democracy Movement for Renewal Party, also plans to stand for the election. He took 8% of the vote in the 2007 polls, finishing fifth. This time, the surprise will come from elsewhere. You will see that Arabs are going to vote this time for Ibrahim Mukhtar Sa. We are saying this not because we just want to be optimistic, but because we know that today we have conquered the hearts of all Mauritanian people that understand that our party wants Mauritania want the prosperity of Mauritania. Mauritania is a nation of about 3 million people straddling black and Arab Africans. It is an ally of the West in the campaign against Al-Qaeda in Africa. The country has significant iron ore reserves and has become a small-scale oil producer in 2006. Paul Ndiho, 